my name is Ashley Weber. This is my husband, Josh, and I'm springing this recording on him because that's the only way to do it. We are beautiful baby girl, Lively. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel for your Monday video. Today, we are doing a Q&A. So all week, hey babe, we've been collecting question, questions from you guys and we're gonna answer them. All right, so here we are. My name's Ashley, Josh, Lively. Hey, buddy. Hi. All right, so one of the most- That's not what she's gonna talk like. No, she won't. <laughs> one of the most popular questions we got was, how has life changed since having Lively? What big ways? I would say for me, while you're thinking, uh, it's the best thing in the world. Love being a mom. Uh, that would really slow me down in life. Like not slow down in a negative sense, but it's the only thing that I could really see slowing life down uh, is having a baby. Like it slows life down in a really, beautiful way um, where you're taking in each moment a little bit more and you're breathing easy and things aren't all about you. Things are about your baby and your family. And uh, so I've definitely seen that shift happen uh, for me as somebody who's like busy, busy, do 10 million things a day. I, I love. How about you? No, that's good. That's great answer. No. I love that you asked the question and then you just went in. Um, so in, what's the biggest way life changed since having a baby? Uh, well, it's not all about us anymore, right? So basically our life revolves around this little one. Our schedule revolves around when she's awake and sleeping and eating and bed, bedtime. You love it? Yeah, I love it. Smile when you say you love something. You love it. <laughs> she's finding her voice and I think teething as well. As you can see, I'll just roll. question was, how did you know that Josh was the one? When or how? I don't how? know how. Like, did I receive a sign or like, yeah, or was like, there a cloud shaped like an A or? Yeah. Um, by, when I met your family. Yeah? Yeah. What was so profound about that moment? Um, your dad is really attractive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, so is your mom. Thanks, I mean, thanks I mean, dad. The week after we met, we came oh, to your yeah, place on John that's Street. Oh so true. That was a really And like we hung out and event. I was like, all right, great family, like, yeah. Everything just connected, I found, when we, in a way that it hadn't before. Um, and yeah, I think sometimes you just, you, I don't know, you just know, like it just drops in your No in your one other heart. than you and I care about this, so. Well, they've asked about it, so. Who has? They came up as one of the questions. They? Oh, is this guys? The guys? Hey guys? Yeah, the hey guys. The guys, the guys. My friends. Yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think it, it drops differently. Oh, it drops. <laughs> for you personally you just uh you don't you don't question things like maybe you questioned other relationships you don't necessarily doubt it like you doubt it other relationships and i think definitely there's this intimacy connection where it's just you're in love look at um, your eyebrows i know i got them done in fashion print Holy. yesterday um what's that what was that that was my little like what's that oh is that true so like the emoji. Okay. But uh, my mom was like, I wonder if he's the one. Um, so that piece That's is That's funny because really... remembers that to Andrew every day. Yeah. And Andrew talk about- um, My mom loves love, just like I love love. Um, and I also think it's really important that other people in your life- And I love obviously, Ken. I think other people in your life, obviously, that you trust, um, see the relationship as one that is um, her to go in that direction that you're headed in life. Um, you want to make sure that you're aligned in those core things, core vision for your life and your foundation. And yeah, so anyway, long-winded answer with lots of little cries in between. Oh, she's so good now. Okay, number three, would you ever move to Newfoundland? I buy property there. I don't think I could spend an entire winter there. Um, okay, what if we were there for part of the year, like had a cottage on the ocean? Yeah, I'd like that. I would love to have spend a place a there that we there, can go. Where it's nice. Which is pretty much my parents' house. Like that's what their house acts as right now. But my main thing is like, I could live anywhere in the world if I want to be with my family. So that's kind of my goal is that we see everybody in the same location in the next five years. So you can pray alongside me for that. But I think it's gonna happen. It's probably most likely that my parents will move here. I never know. I do love Newfoundland and the ocean. Me too. Uh, the, the coastline, the culture. Never gets old yeah. there. So I'm yeah. not a winter guy. I feel like eventually winters will probably be away okay another question we got were what were some of the highlights of labors we had a really birth 
birth, yes, was amazing, obviously, but we had a really fun experience. Like, I don't, like when we got our room, like we were in triage for a little bit, and um, when we got our room, I like ran out to Josh in the waiting room. I was like, we got our room, like, let's go. And I thought we were like in a hotel, like big room, spacious, like have fun with it if you can. Um, having a birth playlist. So it really set the tone in the room. Your family were here too, made it really, really, really special. Yeah, that was but Yeah, really getting special. home was really, Cliche, but uh, it was definitely like the. Yeah, it's almost like she, like you can breathe, like yeah. you're out of the. And you're bringing her door. like officially into like your. Home. We're, we're mm -hmm. gonna have one more question because we're gonna have to wrap this up because she is getting tired. Um, when will you travel again, and where are you gonna go? Oh. Take her. Oh, I feel like it now. Calgary. I'm gonna go in to visit my brother in Calgary. He just bought a house. We'd love to spend some time there with him. Uh, it's beautiful out there too. And then I would say we have a wedding. My cousin Melanie's getting married in August in Newfoundland. So uh, headed out that way. And oh, and it. then we're gonna go south when we're allowed to travel again. And yeah, you, you're dismissed. That's it for this portion of the vlog. Hey guys, I am so excited to show you my once upon a child haul that I got for Lively. I just, you probably heard me talk about once upon a child before, but any sort of thrifting is amazing. It's great for the environment, it's great for sustainability, um, and it's great economically as well for you and your family. And once upon a child is a great resource. I know in this KW region, there are a variety of stores. I personally love to go to the Cambridge location. It is huge and always has great selection. Uh, so moms out there, you know, our babies grow so fast. So as one kind of set of age bracket size um, is too small, you can basically trade that in for new clothes. So it's amazing. So I wanted to show you some of my favorite pieces. I've already posted a few photos of Lively on my Instagram uh, wearing some of the outfits. But here are some she hasn't worn yet because they are um, spring. So I got this really cute romper, super cute denim, faded. This is originally from The Gap. Um, I probably got, I would say, 50 pieces for $60, seriously. Um, I got this really cute uh, number, the plaid top, and then it comes with the bloomers. Oh my goodness absolutely love that one and then this little piece just running around in the backyard so cute oh my goodness um and then i got this cute little pink dress that's good for kind of day to day every day um all about the denim so i've got this little denim dress for her for the summer and then we got another kind of top bloomer uh, matching set oh my goodness her little chubby arms then check out this. Okay, this is really cute. This is like her Grammy's outfit. It's like sheer and sparkly with these cute little arms. Oh, love it. A little bit more denim. Great with a pair of leggings. I had to buy this because it was on, their clearance was on 90% off. And so I got this jacket for her, even though it's 12 months. A uh, little raincoat, leopard. So cute. Only a few more. This dress, I think this is my favorite. And then everybody needs a classic white sundress, right? So we got this little guy and it crosses in the back. Oh! Shop at Once Upon a Child. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel again this week. Sorry the video was delayed a day. Mom life happens and teething happens. But anyhow, we got it live. I love coming and talking and sharing and chatting with you guys every single week. Join me daily on my Instagram. Uh, next week's video is going to be our three-month review update, what our, what our experience has been life like in month three. Oh my goodness, I haven't got through my coffee this morning, obviously. Um, but I'm really looking forward to sharing that video with you guys. So have a great week.